Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I created these chocolate butterflies. I'm going to show you how I made three different styled butterflies using chocolate candy melts. I started by printing out butterfly images from the internet. Before printing I used a simple paint program to split the butterfly into two pieces creating a gap in the middle of the body. I use these wax paper sheets to pipe my butterfly designs onto. It helps that they are transparent so the image shows through the tracing. I then secured the wax paper on my surface with tape. To create my butterflies I'm going to be using Wilton candy melts in pink and light cocoa. I melted the light cocoa first and poured it into my piping bag. Once my piping bag was filled I snipped off the end and tested the tip. Once it was ready it was time to pipe. I started by outlining the butterfly and adding a few layers of the outlines to create a thick and sturdy edge. Once I've done the perimeter I then worked on the inside and just created some details. As you can see I'm not following the design but I'm just using it as a guide. I set that one aside and start a new one which has got filigree designs and it's simple swirls. Throughout the process of this one though I'm creating lots of joins and overlap with the chocolate. Just making sure that the edges and everything is secure. More joins will create a stronger butterfly. The last one is going to be open as well and I'm just filling in the edges with a slightly different kind of detailing. Again, I'm reinforcing with joins to make sure this is strong as well. Back to the very first butterfly, I melt pink candy melts and start filling in the cavities for this butterfly. And this one will be a solid butterfly, so this one will be a bit more sturdier. And I'm gently going over the entire surface, filling in all the spaces. I allow them to dry for about an hour and then it's time to peel them off. And I'm gently peeling away the wax paper they come off very easily and as you can see the back has the design too so it's your choice if you want to use the reverse or the front. I choose the front. I go ahead and peel the other butterflies too being extremely gentle with the filigree designs. These do have a tendency to break so it's good to have some extra on hand if you need them. The last one actually turned out really well on its reverse, very clean and smooth but again I'm using just the front surface and I went back over one of them with gold luster dust. This really can give a very elegant look to the butterflies once finished. To create the shape for the butterfly, I use a thick cardstock to create a W-shaped silhouette. I fold it in half and then fold the ends in half again. Using a new wax paper sheet, I fold this in half and apply it to the center of this cardstock. I then apply chocolate to the back of my butterfly and stick it to one side of the wax paper and then apply it again to the other side of the butterfly and apply that to the wax paper also. I then pipe the centre body of the butterfly. This angle just shows you how it's resting on the cardstock. I then allow this to dry without moving it. I then do the same process with the next butterflies. This one is the filigree one, so I'm just going to be creating the body and then sticking both sides of the wings in place. Once I've stuck both sides of the wings down, I then use the piping bag again to create the body on top of the wings, just to seal it in and secure. For the final butterfly, I do the same thing again, creating the body and then sticking the wings in place on both sides. I then create the body with pink candy melts. I allow this to dry and then I brush it with gold just to give it the finishing touch. Before sticking them onto my dessert, I just peel off the wax paper very gently from both sides and they are ready to go. The filigree ones do take some extra care, but I suggest leaving them on the wax paper till you're ready to use them. They really are a wonderful addition to any kind of dessert and the design options are endless. You can create any kind of design that you want. I found using Wilton candy melts create a nice sturdy butterfly which sets very quickly. 
adding a gold accent helps create a very beautiful finish and the options are endless. I have a tutorial on how to make piping bags which is what I used in this video. Please do check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Please be sure to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching.